One of the things I see most frequently with people I often work with is the doming of the belly. Not having proper abdominal engagement and creating that good intra-abdominal pressure that's evenly distributed across the abdominals. So what it often looks like is kind of this belly that pooches, that pushes out, um, and it's quite hard. If you're somebody who potentially has diastasis, you notice that intense doming um, in the, the area where that linea alba has stretched out. And that's certainly something we want to avoid, especially if we have um, DR as it's putting more too much pressure and it's going to make that DR possibly worse and certainly going to keep you from healing it. And even if you don't have diastasis, um, it just means that we're not working those abdominals properly. So this is a good exercise um, that can help you kind of identify if you are engaging the muscles properly. And if not, um, then maybe you need to work on some regressions until you're ready to kind of take um, that full option. So it's just, uh, we're just gonna come to a quad position. And this is really great to practice. Um, maybe take a video of yourself, or even if you have a, a mirror you can use, um, but because you're gonna need to give yourself some visual feedback. Um, so I'm just going to kind of adjust my clothing here so you can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to come into a quad position. So stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and you want to make sure that head is centered on the spine. People have a tendency to lead with their chin, and we want to ensure um, we're not putting that neck into that unnecessary extension all the time. The rest of the spine is in neutral here as well, so we don't want to be gripping with our butt and tucking under, and we don't want to be dropping our belly entirely to the floor. So we kind of find that nice scooping up and in sensation. All right, head centered on the spine. Now, this is where you can use either a videotape or that visual in the mirror is if you just kind of relax, you notice your belly just, you know, kind of hangs. And obviously everybody has, you know, some ex um, excess skin and especially if you're a newer mom and postpartum, that's totally normal and that's not what we're paying attention to, okay? So we can still have the skin and still kind of notice what's going on with the muscles under it. So if you just let that belly just kind of hang and everything's kind of soft here, all right, nothing's engaged, and then take that inhale, exhale, scoop that belly up and in. Now you should, as you kind of keep those ribs drawn down, now what you should notice is maybe you still have a little bit of uh, skin hanging, but that it should have moved up. Whatever, you know, is going on there should have pulled up. It shouldn't be hanging down more or not moved at all. Okay, that shows that the abdominals are on and firing. Now, um, so it's important that you get that in just this position. If you can't get it while we're just in this basic quad, don't progress, all right? But if you're like, okay, you did your little videotape, you checked, you're maintaining that neutral spine, you were able to pull up and in and see that little bit of movement with the belly. From here, you're gonna curl the toes under, maintain this strong neutral position. You're gonna take an inhale, breathing deep into those ribs and lungs, exhale, come up into that hover. Now, this is where, again, you're gonna look at that visual. Did the belly, as you come, came up, get bigger and kind of, again, drop? Or did it maintain and kind of pull up and in and was nice and strong? And just try to hold for maybe four seconds and then release, inhale, exhale, start the exhale, make sure you have that strong abdominal connection and come up. Hover for four or five seconds and release down. This is kind of that next progression into before or before you start into a full plank. We need to make sure that those abdominals are firing properly, that we're not getting that bulging and putting unnecessary pressure on that abdominal wall and oftentimes on our pelvic floor as well. And so a lot of things can, if we do that a lot over time, you know, we can lead to possible issues. So we want to avoid that. So that pulling up and in um, and doing those that quad position with that strong abdominal connection in that neutral spine is going to be really important.